rolling away your stone, I'll roll away mine. Together we can see what we will find. Don't leave me alone at this time. So I am an office worker in the campus ministry department um, here at Pepperdine. We really try to create a sense of community and we work on many events um, to bring the community together and really grow it um, and create really close relationships. So I work a lot with more of the office tasks but also with the event planning part. Things that I would love for you to help us yeah. out with. Um, this is our overview of all the responsibilities that we're gonna, going to have our interns um, do for our campus ministry retreat. Um, and they're kind of scattered right now, it's kind of chaotic, but if there's a way that you could take some of these and categorize them, um, just so it, it reads a little bit better and there's a little more of a flow to it, that would be really helpful. My favorite part about working in the campus ministry office is the awesome relationships that I've grown. I can just be in there working and we'd be talking about like life goals, life plans, how God meets us in everything that we do. I don't know, over break was just like relaxing and just not really doing anything. I enjoyed like regular food, home cooked food and home stuff. Cooked food. Yeah. So basically at Pepperdine, each freshman dorm house has their own SLA. So what an SLA is, is your spiritual life advisor. They're kind of just there to kind of be your mentor, give you any tips, let you know about any convocations, and then have a weekly Bible study. My SLA is Ali Bombo, and we've gotten super close over the past first semester in the beginning of the second. Um, it's not anymore like she's just kind of like older than me to be my mentor. We're kind of just like friends now, and we've um, we talk about everything together, which is really nice. If you were, if you, okay, part, I guess you could say what what you drew when we left and what you would draw now, or what you want to draw at the end of the semester. One of the first activities we did it was to draw. Um, a house kind of representing God and like religion and where you're at with that and then you're supposed to draw yourself anywhere like around that house either if you're like sitting on a swing outside the house not really going like deep into it or if you're already like right inside there so it was just kind of like a figurative way to kind of show Allie like where we were at before we started her whole Bible study series. I guess at the end I just want to be like inside the house and like not even all the way at the point of understanding everything because that's impossible but just getting like very involved in it and like knowing more about your spirituality at the end. Because of Pepperdine, I think um, from the start of NSO, I was kind of just like outside the house, but now I feel like I'm at it and like entering the house because of all these different opportunities that they have at Pepperdine. It's kind of made me grow in a faith and not just like in a serious way, but in a fun way as you're like socializing and making friends. I praise the mountain fixed upon it, mount of thy And it was a passage from Psalms that was written by David. And David wrote, Why are you in despair, O my soul? And why have you become disturbed within me? Surf convocation, for me, I feel closest to God in nature. So I really like doing my Bible studies and my convocations on the beach. We do a quick, like, big message to the whole group, and then we split into small groups and kind of break it down and just hang out. Not a lot of schools, A, care if there's a Bible study for you to go to, and B, give you that opportunity on a beach. So it's pretty crazy. Here's my heart, Lord, take and seal it, seal it for thy courts above. Prone to wander, Lord, I feel it. Prone to leave the God I love. Here's my heart, Lord. Take and seal it. Seal it for thy courts above. I'm not used to waking up on Wednesdays after two or three weeks of sleeping in. Um, but I mean, it, it's good that I get up. I have some green tea. I'm trying to eat healthier now. Um, actually, me and Aiden are both on a workout plan, so we're trying to stick to that. But right now, I feel pretty good. I'm not too tired. On vacation, in a way, is kind of like almost rejuvenating way to talk about Christ, talk about current events and how it relates to the Bible. 
um, and you have guest speakers all the time. Uh, so it's something for everybody, this is something new, um, where you can go Wednesday, Friday nights, there's also Surf Combo. That's why I'm so compassionate about telling the gospel story, because it's the gospel that set you free. Uh, the speaker today, um, he did kind of have a darker past. Um, the only reason he told it was because he wanted us to know that anybody can change. Uh, he made an emphasis that no matter where you come from, no matter what you've done, that there is always redemption, that God loves you, and that there will be people around you that are always willing to help. You just have to find it. And that really hits home. Um, and that's what I need. That's what I go for. Um, that's why you go to church on Sunday. That's why you go to Combo. That's why you go to Friday Night Combos, because there might be something that pertains to you that you need. That's why Pepperdine loves doing it so much. So for me, um, I make it a point to set an alarm for 9 a.m. Um, just so I can sleep an extra 30 minutes and then all of a sudden wake up, jump up, and then go to Combo. Delight is an all-girls Bible study that centered around a book series called Delight um, that's written by a group of college girls at a different university and a group of seniors decided to bring it to Pepperdine. Dear God, thank you so much um, for this time just to all be together. Thank you for this space. Um, but thank you so much for the beautiful chapel and just for all of these women um, and their willingness um, to show up. Um, and I just pray that you'll be here um, tonight um, and just open our hearts and our minds. I think a small group is really an essential part of growing in your faith, especially having a consistent group of people who will hold you accountable week to week and knowing some like a smaller group on a deeper level, I think just really makes those relationships more meaningful. I found a new community and my friends really push me and they don't just kind of let me settle for who I am. They're like always challenging me. about vocation and finding your vocation and we all know that vocation is about more than just the job that you do it's about calling and so you're all discerning that while you're here and I'm just really thankful that through this ministry so we pray blessings on you. What I love about Pepperdine is that they have this huge focus not just on education but also on who you are as a person in the spiritual sense as well. Moving to college was the biggest switch in my life and when I was in those difficult moments, I think what was awesome was knowing that there were so many people who were helping me along the way to refocus um, and to fix my eyes on God. 